Okay, here we are in my garage. I just got my nice insulated garage doors installed, so I thought it was time to get my hydronic heat system hooked up too, which we can see over there on the wall. It's of course the warmest thing in the room. Um, above it I do have two shop lights that are hung up and that other warm spot in the distance, that's my breaker panel. I've been running the heater for about an hour and if we look at the floor, we can actually now see the lines in it that follow the radiant tubes. So you can see kind of the striped pattern and for example, you can see the left side of the screen is warmer than the right side of the screen. That's because over here is the beginning of loop number two, and over here is the end of loop number two. So that drop in the difference of temperature, uh, that's the heat leaving uh, the tubing and going into the concrete. Uh, the other thing to notice here is the coldest thing in the room is going to be that uh, one layer of concrete block I have around the outside edge. That's about 40 degrees outside. That's the temperature it's uh, been outside and this has been an unheated building up until now um, but even the warmest stuff in the room is only eh, let's say about 50 degrees Fahrenheit at the highest so we're talking uh, 10 degrees difference in these images that we're looking at right now from the uh, the, the red orange yellow hot to the the purple dark blue black cold uh, clearly we have a little bit of heat from uh, the lights up there, but even those, even though they're the brightest thing in the scene, those are still only maybe 60, 60 degrees or so. Uh, the brightest thing over on the hydronic panel is the output of the, uh, uh, the radiant manifold. So that is the PEX tubes that are going down into the concrete, and it's kind of neat. You can actually see in the concrete right now how the uh, the heat radiates out from there because, uh, of course, the tubes are the tubes are centered right here, and then some go over this way to the first and second loop. Um, we've got a, a branch right here, which is both the return of the second loop and the start of the third loop, and over here we can even see um, going north to the the beginning of the, the first loop. Now I do have a lot of things on the floor, building materials, ladders, things like that. So unfortunately, we don't have a, a great view of the floor right now. But you can definitely see where the radiant tubes are in the floor. And I laid this out so that the start of the tube would be closest to the garage door. And in this first loop, um, I did put the first couple of tubes a little bit closer together figuring that they'd be right by the garage doors. That would be the coldest part, and I'd kind of need to heat it the most to fight that. So anyways, this is just kind of a first, oh, this is cool. I can actually see the curve of uh, one of the first loops right here in the corner. That's pretty neat. Oh, you know what? Also earlier, I did have a small radiant heater on a little uh, electric radiator parked right here. <laughs> just to keep me warm while working out here, and it looks like it did leave a little bit of a, a warmer spot on the floor right there. Uh, of course, breaker boxes make a lot of heat while well, they're in use. The cover is off right now, and you can see the warm spot right there is my 50-amp breaker. Um, we're running at about 30 amps with the heater, and you can see the cords on the left that appear warm. Uh, those are the ones going uh, to the heater. And the little bit not quite as bright ones over here, that's the main power coming in. And that is a thicker cable. And that, of course, is why it appears uh, less warm. That's my only electric outlet in the garage, only 120 volt electric outlet. I do, of course, also have on the firewall over here my electric car charger. It's still just sitting on the floor at the moment. Um, that is not charging, though. But just wanted to give you this first look at the radiant tubes heating and running through the floor.